hello guys and welcome back so in this video we will be adding shimmy actions to this side so that you guys know how you can add the shimmy actions around your own building area okay so for adding the shimmy actions what we will do we will remove this part of this building since right here we don't have enough space for adding our parkour actions because this area is too small so what we will do we will remove that upper part and then we can remove these areas as well so you can just select it and delete it like this okay let's remove that area as well and if you want you can remove this as well okay so once you remove this now as you can see we have a lot of area for performing our shimmy actions so what i will do now is i will open up my climbing points and as you know that these climbing points will be too large for this area so what we will do we will create shimmy actions right here by our own so what we will do let me actually select the point four okay that point four and let's duplicate it okay so now we have point five let's move this point five right here okay and just change the point five neighbor to zero then change it to one again okay so that we don't have the reference right here okay so turn on the mesh renderer and what we will do we will now rotate this on the y-axis by minus 90 then let's move it right here then in upward direction like this okay make sure that it matches this area then move it right here okay and when you do that let's select this rec tool and let's increase the scale x of this okay let's change it to four for example like this okay and when you change the scale of it let's actually make it 4.5 or 4.4 that is it okay let's move it a little bit upward like this that's it now let's uh, remove this mesh renderer or you can say disable it then we will click on prefab then unpack completely now inside this point four we will add our sub points for shimmy actions but first of all let's change its name to long point two Okay, then in here let's create an empty game object let's name this as one and let's select the icon for this in red color like this you can select the other things as well like this if you want but I will leave this as one and then I will move this right here okay to this point but let me actually move it a little bit right here that's it okay now what we will do we will duplicate this let's just say 10 times so 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and then as you know we will select the nine points actually first of all let's rename them so 2 3 then 4 then 5 then at the end we will name it as 10 okay so once you name them let's now select the points from 2 to 10 okay just hold down the shift button and select till 10 then hold down the control button and move it like this 1 2 okay then keep holding down the control button click on 2 so that it get removed then 1 2 okay in the same way do it for the others 1 2 one two and then for this one as well okay so once you do it 
till this point then what we will do we will remove the last point okay we will leave this as 9 okay so we have 9 points for performing shimmy actions on this side now what we will do we will expand the long point which is this first one and as you know right here from this point one to this point one we will create a reference now so if we select the first one as you can see it has a reference to the second one we will add another reference but first of all let's select these nine points okay which we created right now and to them make sure that you add the climbing point then make their neighbor as one and on this one let's drag and drop two then to two add the three then select the third right here add fourth then to the fourth add fifth and in this way you can just drag and drop them like this to the eighth one we will add nine and we will leave the nine as it is then let's select from one to nine okay select all of them make them two way change this to move and as you know when the player jumps to this one from that one then they will move in the right direction so we will make the x1 that is it okay so once you do this for all of them then let's select the first one which is this one okay let me clear that out now right here on this one we will click on this plus sign right here as you can see another one is created so now we will drag and drop this one in there okay like this just drag and drop this one in there then as you know that this is on the right side so we will change this to one and this will be of type jump and this will be two way okay so once you do that let me now minimize them and let's try to play the game okay let's go ahead and perform it so first of all we need to move to that point let's now shimmy on the right side and when we move to the first point let's now click on the jump button and the d button as you can see the player jumps okay but if you notice the player body is when the player jump the player body go inside the building edges okay and we don't want that but as you know that the player is now performing the shimmy action okay so let's now fix that issue where the player body goes inside this edge okay first of all let me click on this pipe and delete it okay you can delete this one as well then what we will do the player body was going inside this edge so the reason behind this is that on our player script right here as you know when we perform any parkour we rotate the player towards that parkour point and this rotation rotates uh, really quickly okay so what we want to do in order to fix this we will add a code in which we will delay this rotation okay so for that above this timer counter what we will do we will create another float by the name of let's just say rotate start time and this will be equals to uh, if else condition so we will say if the ctp okay this is our compare target ctp which is compare target parameter as you can see you can notice the pop-up okay compare target parameter so if this is not equals to null then what we will do we will say 
ctp dot start time else we will just simply pass zero okay then after this uh, timer counter plus equals to time dot delta time right here now we will create a float by the name of normalized timer counter okay let's name this timer counter so we need to normalize that so what we will say we will say timer counter let's multiply that by the animation state dot length then in the if condition right here where we say if the look at obstacle is true and now we will say and if the normalized timer counter is greater than the rotate start time okay that is it so when you do these changes save the script get back right here now let's try to perform the shimmy actions again so let me climb to the top then i will show you okay so now if i move to the right side like this okay so now if we jump from here now as you can see the player is not getting inside the building edge as you can see and right here we can perform the shimmy actions as you can see okay it is looking good now okay now if you want you can add shimmy actions to the other side let me show you how you can add that first of all let me clear that out this is showing because we didn't add any reference to this climbing point so what we will do now in order to add shimmy actions to this side we will just simply duplicate our first long point so let's duplicate it okay and change its name to now long point three then move it right here and we need to make the forward vector in the other direction so what we will do we will change the rotation y to 180 and now let's set this thing right here so open up the mesh renderer let's move this right here okay then we need to move this down below a little bit like this and also let's move it right here okay so I think it looks good like this okay once you do that now what we will do is as you know that now right here the first point is this 17 okay so let's select these whole points and as you know that the x is minus 1 and if you notice right here the points will go now from 17 till 1 so what we will do we will change this to let's actually not change it just leave this as one okay and what we will do we will select our one point on this long point three okay which is that one and right here we need to remove this second now so what we will do right here we will say one and that is it so now from one it will move to the second one okay like this and then right here select the 17 and as you know the 17 is empty so from this 17 it will move to 16 okay so what we will do we will select the 17 and right here add 16 and as you know that is on the right side so we will change this to 1 that is it then we want the player to jump from this 9 to 17 so let's open the second long point select the 9 and in the 9 drag and drop this 17 that is on the right side and this will be of type jump and this will be is two way okay so make sure that you do these changes on this nine point and then you will be good to go okay but before playing it now let's select the long point two open up their mesh renderer and what we will do we will move this a little bit up so that it covers this whole area of this building edge like this okay that is it now select the long point two 
disable the mesh renderer select the third one disable the mesh renderer that is it now if we now play the game again and let me climb these all areas so in order to save our time okay so now if we jump from here to the next point as you can see the player jumps perfectly fine now let's move as you can see the player can shimmy on the left and right side perfectly fine okay now let's jump from this point to the other one as you can see the player jumps and the player can move as you can see okay okay so the player can move to the right and left okay now you know now that how you can add shimmy actions around the buildings okay and also you can add the climb points as well now the next task which is only for you guys because you learned how you can add climb points and shimmy action points now what i want you guys to do is add climb points right here on these windows and move the player down below to this ground back again okay for now we don't have the jump from climb points we don't have that actions but we will be adding that in our upcoming videos we will also be adding the jump up actions from the shimmy points okay for example if the player is hanging right here then we will add an action in which the player will simply jump up to the top of this building okay but the test for you guys is that add the climb points on these windows and on these edges okay till this point you can now do that on your own and now i will end this video right here